They want a roundabout, but say they've been on a merry-go-round, a never-ending circle of dates and promises, only to find their back where they started. There isn't a day goes by when someone doesn't say to me, Mike, is this roundabout ever going to get built? And I think we've just lost patience with it now. The county council, Taylor Wimpy, the developer that's obliged to build the roundabout, they keep telling us, oh yeah, we're nearly there, we've nearly got the design finished, it's about to start. We even had a date two, two and a half years ago when they were about to start and then they realised there was an underpass here that they'd previously forgotten to take account of. Villagers were promised road improvements on the busy A358 by developers when this housing estate was built. But three and a half years later, they're still waiting. There have been accidents here. The contract was made years ago. Here we are still waiting for a roundabout. Laughingly called the magic roundabout because as you can see, there isn't one. Time has sagged the developer's amphibian-proof barrier. It may be no match now for an ambitious frog. And it's argued the road is no safer for residents either. There is no safe access from the village onto the main road, which is getting busier and busier. You know, to a certain extent, it seems to be the developers dragging their feet, but I think also to a large extent, it's the county council just not having the oomph or the nous to get a scheme together which is acceptable. The council denies oomph or even nous is the issue, but argued delay was inevitable. Well, this was a planning requirement for Taylor Wimpy, and it's been an incredibly complex job to plan. I mean, essentially, we've had to reconstruct, well, they'll have to reconstruct a road, they'll have to reconstruct a roundabout, and they've got to reconstruct a subway as well. So it's been an incredibly complex job to plan. In a joint statement, the developers and county council tell me a final design is about to be agreed, and that five months of work will start after the tourist season in September. David Woodland, ITV News, Bishop's Lydia near Taunton.